What's going on guys besides you still watching these FL Studio tutorials in your mom's basement? Enough with the jokes. I'm not here to waste your time. You want to learn how to sample like Murder Beats? Let's get it. Now I know you guys are wondering how does Murder Beats find the craziest samples? Where does he go? Who curates these sounds for him? But to be honest, what most likely happens is he probably gets, you know, loops and samples sent to him by someone like QBeats and whatnot. So, you know, we don't all have it that easy, but it's totally fine. Let's go straight into FO Studio. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and play this sample for you guys, just so you guys can hear it. And there that is, very QBeats-esque. You know, very, uh, honestly, I don't even know how to describe his sound. Kind of quirky, little weird and whatnot. Yeah, honestly, I don't even know how to describe the style. But I'm going to go ahead and open up a Fruity Slicer. And I'm going to throw this sample into the Fruity Slicer just to see if I can get a new melody. Uh, sometimes I'd like to, you know, I, I'd like to use that new melody as an intro or maybe, you know, um, a second half of the beat or maybe, you know, even the outro. So I'm going to go ahead and mess with the attack, the time stretch, pitch it up, pitch it down, and just see what I can get. One of my favorite things to do is I like to mess with the time stretch and kind of bump it up to around the 200 range. I feel like it gives a very uh, unique kind of warped, slowed down feeling. So, right now I'm just messing with the arrangement of these notes, trying to get a different melody. And when I'm done with this, I'll, I'll let you guys hear it. Alright, so I liked it, but I didn't like it as much as the original sample, so I'm probably going to use that for like an intro or something. Alright, so right now let's uh, open up a parametric EQ, do some EQing. You don't want those low-end frequencies clashing with your 808s. Let's take some high-end out. I'm going to do a quick frequency sweep just to knock down any, you know, annoying, bad, you know, ringy frequencies all right so let's get straight into it let's throw a two-step hi-hat just to get the beat moving all right that hi-hat's a little loud so I'm gonna knock that down <clears throat> do some more EQing here put the volume of this hi-hat a little down and I'm gonna raise some EQ just to get that hi-hat to kind of pierce through the mix. Same thing with the clap. Make sure that clap is slapping but not too loud. Same kind of EQ on the clap. You want that clap kind of cutting through the mix. And what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna start playing with some of these notes on this first hi-hat and try to get like a different rhythm here. All right, so now that I'm, I'm starting to get some bounce in here, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and copy this over, and maybe add like a different note on the second half of this. So something that I like to do is I like to mess with the velocity of the hi hats just to give it some more bounce. Sometimes you know every uh, every other hi hat I will knock down the velocity just a bit just to kind of humanize it a little more. And so another quick tip is, I like to take the hi-hat that I was using, clone it, and actually take the time stretch and kind of slow down the sample. And add that to the already existing hi-hat pattern that I have, just to give it even more bounce. Yeah, so it's just a little quick trick that I picked up. All 
All right, so let's go ahead and add uh, some open hats. <clears throat> I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of open hats hidden during the mix. I feel like it gets annoying and obnoxious sometimes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it simple with the open hats and have just one hidden uh, every every loop. And I'm actually gonna throw in a different open hat to kind of complement that first one. Let's knock that pitch down 200 cents. Take this metronome off. All right, so now we're gonna add a snare just to get some more rhythm going. So I have a snare and a perk going at the same time. Uh, very, very simple, nothing too crazy. All right, let's get that first perk out of there. All right, so now I'm gonna add one more hi-hat. I wanna add some you know, faster rolls, but I don't want these rolls to kind of be too forward in the mix. I'm actually gonna um, knock the volume down just to have it in the background, but just to give it a little more sauce, I'm gonna add these hi-hats. Uh, it took me a while to kind of get the kind of bounce and rhythm that I wanted with these, but I finally got them. All right, now for the 808, everybody's favorite part. So there's a lot going on in the drums already, so I'm not gonna go too crazy with the 808s. So honestly, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and follow the bass notes of the melody. So I'm not gonna go too crazy with the 808s. I'm gonna actually add one roll in the middle of this loop, and that's about it. I'm over here just playing with some of the notes, just trying to get this rhythm right. All right, making sure that everything is the way I want it. These levels are the way I want them. All right, so now it's time to add a kick. And like I said, there's a lot going on with the drums, with the hi-hats, with the perks and the snares. So with the 808s and the kick, honestly, I'm not gonna do too much. I'm gonna have this kick follow the 808 pretty much, just to give it some more punch. And that'll be pretty much it. Like I said, if there's a bunch of things going on at the same time, it'll be kind of hard for a rapper or an artist to get on. And that's pretty much it. Murder Beats usually takes a sample, chops it up, pitches it up, pitches it down, time stretches it, and throws his fire ass, you know, drums on it. And you know, nothing crazy, but sound selection is a huge part. And obviously your drums. If your drums aren't knocking, if your drums aren't slapping, if your drums aren't really moving the beat forward, then it's not gonna work. So right now in the comment section, if you guys see this, tell me what is your favorite Murder Beats instrumental let me know right now, like, comment, subscribe, dislike, don't comment, don't subscribe, like I said, <laughs> doesn't matter, I mean, it really does, but I can't control that, so I'm going to go ahead and do some arranging, and I'll see you guys next time.